praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, our God, God. The Lord is the apostle of another great millstone, Saul walks all over the lake, cast around the four corners of the earth, uh, put the word into it in sincerity. I fear the name Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, to all the Israelites out there that believe in the Lord, man, you know, blessing, peace, and safety to you. I'll watch you outside of mercy on you in these last days. All right, because the Lord coming, all right, to gather his elect. Go get us. Go into Ezekiel. Oh. Was that 30? Where it goes into the phone? 37. 37. Uh, where do you want me to start at? Uh, wherever it starts. All right, man. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1. The hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the belly which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open belly and lo they were very dry Right, we're in the valley of dry bones Alright, because Israel is in a state of being dry. Dead. Yep. Of being in yeah, dry bones. Being dead. In a dead state. Alright? Not understanding who their power is. Okay? Isaiah 1 and 1, it says the vision of Isaiah the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Gotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, king of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. I have nursed and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Okay, and that rebellion is the reason why we're in this position that we're in right now scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among all these nations okay serving these other nations okay out here in all this confusion okay all right all this stuff happened to us because we rebelled against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah and the true power all right so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans are the actual Israelites according to the Bible which have been scattered among all nations. So you have Israelites that look like all these different nations in all these different nations. Okay, the Lord has scattered us all among them and the Lord is raising up the elect through the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and the understanding of this word and the understanding of the truth, right? The spirit of truth. Okay, understanding prophecy. Understanding what's going on in the last days. They said the ox knows its owner and the ass is master's crib, but Israel did not know. My people did not consider. Right? <laughs> and the Lord's only dealing with the nation of Israel, and that's it. No other nation. That's why when you read in the Bible, it's all about the Israelites. Okay, and who um, would oppose, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which is Esau, Edom, the devil, okay, the so called white man according to the scriptures, alright, and their power structure. It says, All sinful nations, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, right? Why? Because corrupted our way against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, the true power, the true God in which set up laws, statutes, and commandments, all right, for Israel to follow in order for us to be able to receive that love, that protection from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the true power, okay? Which all these other nations, the gods that they deal with are not gods, man. Okay, they have no power. Ours is the only true power, man. The Lord is only dealing with Israel, none of these other nations. Alright, so if you're an Israelite, okay, Yahweh Shai, 
Alright, it's calling for you to repent. Alright, because the Lord is going to save Israel. here and set up their temples and do as they will when it comes to their culture and their religion. But when the Lord enters this place, he's going to do away with all that, man. And not just here in Babylon, not just here in Egypt. Okay, the Lord is going to do that throughout the four corners of the earth. Righteousness is going to be established throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty much it. You know? That the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is the only power. Okay? The only true and living God. Okay? Because when it comes to other gods, the only other gods there are the Israelites, man. Okay? Which are gods under the Heavenly Father. Under Yahweh Shai. That Psalms 82 and 6 says, uh, ye are gods. When we begin to rule on the earth, these other nations are going to reverence us, which means to worship us as gods. They're going to have to do that. They're going to have to come to us for the want of all things. Okay? They're going to have to take heed and obey us. And if not, we're going to bring judgment. You know? That's what we're going through, what we're going through now, to understand a 360 degree concept of wisdom, of good and evil. So when we're in the kingdom, we can judge righteously, okay? The 
Lord's gonna put that spirit on us, man. He's gonna write it in us. He's gonna install it within our spirit. We're gonna be perfect. Okay? Yeah, it's like being here. It's the ultimate test for uh, if you're gonna choose good or evil, man. He's talking to set up his system, uh, which that's an RFID microchip system. Yep. That's the mark of the beast, talking about in Revelation 13. Yeah, Revelation chapter 13, verse 15 on down. That's where matter of fact, you want to get that. Yeah. You always get that. Because we're, we're entering into that time, that's why you can go to the store have that microchip on your on your debit card or your credit card you can just tap the screen right because where the where they implant these microchips in your right hand okay uh you know you got uh elon musk that's working on brain implants so it can go in your forehead man and, and uh to speak on that for a second he's already had somebody yep. that got it and is and is roaming around boasting proudly that he can play chess now with his mind. Showing you they have it, bro. It's there, it's here. You know, it's just a matter of time when they're gonna release it, when they're gonna mandate it on the citizens of, of, of the world. Because it's not just gonna be something that they push here in Babylon. It's gonna be throughout throughout the year. Yeah, because that those miracles are gonna deceive everyone, man. You know, everybody's gonna want a microchip. That's gonna be the new thing, the, you know, the new way. You know, they're gonna have all these celebrities pushing it and everything, celebrities gonna be getting it. You know, it's gonna be in commercials, it's gonna be on, uh, you know, mainstream media, you know? And then while all this stuff is happening, you know, America and the rest of the world gonna be steadily decaying and declining. You know, famine's gonna be uh, getting worse and worse. The storehouse, because it says in the scripture, suddenly the storehouses shall be empty. One day, you know, there ain't gonna be no more stock, no more food, no more, you know, uh, 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 of these pleasantries that you have in this society, man. It's all gonna be done away with, okay? And Esau's gonna make, and, and when that happens, all hell's gonna break loose. And Esau is going to mandate that RFID microchip and force everybody to take that shit, man. You know, he's going to implement his new system. That's going to be his way, you know, because Esau has that uh, savior complex. You know, he wants to be the Messiah. He wants to be the, the Lord. He wants to be God, man. So when everybody, you know, uh, uh, world economic disaster and all that shit, you know, Esau wants to implement this uh, system as, as a way out. Genetically modified food, all this, all this crazy stuff that this guy has cooking up in the work, you know. But really, you know, he's not going to be able to bring it back, actually. Stuff gonna keep getting worse 
where his business is closing down. All right. Homeless population, crime rate, all this stuff, this place is decaying. All right, it's dying. And at the end of the day, really, that's our salvation. This place is being destroyed, man. All right, because Esau got a damn plan uh, uh, to murk everybody, man. This is a Revelation chapter 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Yeah, the image of the beast being, you know, all the, uh, the ways of this system policies, you know, every, all the legislation and everything is being put into place, such as, all right, uh, the Bible being hate speech, you know, LGBT being at the forefront, you know, of what's good in society, you know, oh, free love, everybody should be able to do whatever they want to do, you know, and that's going to be the law of the land, basically, Satan is, all right? Because what, when the crime rate gets so high, you know what Esau likes to do? Just look at San Francisco. He does he does, does away with the laws against crime. What he he made? Hey, the theft was so bad that he made, he basically made it legal to steal. You know, the homeless population was so so bad that he basically made vagrancy uh, acceptable. You know, to where you you know you can just hang out in front of the store. Uh, uh, you know, making a mess of things, you know, you walking down the street, you walking down downtown, whatever, right? And you just see all kind of homeless people, shit all over the street, needles all over the game place, you know? We're in a decaying society, man. It's gonna happen uh, in more, more places than just that. Yeah, good. You know, that, that scripture, you know, I got so many, it's like, but um, there's that scripture where it says, how is the golden city seized? You know? How, the hammer of the earth. You know? Which is America, man. This place isn't the place it once was. Okay. You can't come here and, and, and start a new life and have a happy life. Look at these immigrants. They got tricked to come up here. And all these promises they were getting free food, money. Yeah. And they just cut them off out of nowhere. Yeah. Out there in New York, they were sheltered, clothed, food, given money. And out of nowhere, given a 30-day, a 30-day, a, 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 a warning that if they don't have uh, families, a wife and kids, if it's just a man, after 30 days, they're gonna be totally cut off and they can't go into a shelter. So what are they doing? They're making it legal for them to find certain places to dwell, like the brother mentioned, that are vacant. But who's to say if, if a building is vacant or not? They have to enter to find out. So they could break into people's property, man. You know? And, and uh, what do you call that uh, when, you, when you squat there? Yeah. You know? And after a certain amount of time, if the owner doesn't come and keep them out, that could be their home. Okay, well, what, what, what's that going to lead to? Chaos, man. Well, I just watched a video where this lady owned the property, and then these people, squat, uh, squatters, went up in it and took it over. And then so she called the cops, and the cops arrested her, the homeowner. The cops arrested her. So this is this is America, bro. Yep. This is America. It's it's gonna well, this law is becoming lawless, man. You know, they're making it basically laws, putting in place laws that make crime legal. It's okay for you to steal, it's okay for you to invade people's houses, you know. It's okay for you to sit in the streets, shoot up drugs in the streets. You know, who knows what else is going to be legal soon? They might make a rape legal. You know? Because there was an angel girl, an angel 
back in uh, Revelation, didn't want to leave it alone. chapter 13, verse 16, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Because yep. out of chaos comes order.
So all they would have to do is use drones, use these cameras, robots, and the robots, and they could just scan you. See if you have a chip on you. And if you don't, unscannable. Deem you unscannable. And then the, the stormtroopers come now. You know? But the point I'm making is that you're gonna need you're gonna need this in order for you to um, partake in regular society. Okay. If you want to be part of regular society. Which we're telling you not to take the chip, okay? Not to take the mark of the beast, okay? Because taking the mark of the beast, according to Revelation 14, will get you smoked, all right? Get you smoked. Oh, going back to what I was saying, uh, uh, you, 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 they're, they're making a way so where you can't, you can't take that, uh, chip out once it's in you. Now the scriptures do mention that those that get the mark upon them shall shall, uh, shall come a grievous sword. So when people get that mark, they're going to start getting cancers. Okay? The Lord, the Lord has it out for you people, man. Yeah, the Lord ain't dealing with uh, anybody that's going against him. Right. You know, that's why we, that's why we're here. happened in Sacramento is they were for years getting all this funding to um, start building uh, uh, low income housing but the Lord just set that shit on fire today man okay the Lord is really visiting this place man it tells us the Lord visits the world with fire with lightning with storm and tempest so the Lord is visiting this place man yeah and, and he's making it to where everybody is going to be on their knees begging them. Okay, you're either going to beg the Lord, you know, I will buy Shimei Al Shai and live and survive and receive mercy, or you're going to beg Esau and get smoked, man. Yeah. The Lord's pretty much saying, choose, Ordo. choose life and death. That's that Ordo Abkeo, man. You know, Esau wants it to where, you know, the, the, the structure of the world presently uh, gets destroyed, man. Which that's why it says when, you know, in the scripture it's talking about when there's uproars of the people in all places, I mean, all over the world because there's going to be famines, pestilence, there's going to be all these disasters going on in the world. And, you know, these people are going to be out here rioting, going crazy, man. You know, there's going to be a, a complete hell out here. Well, look at your friends, look at Europe. Them places, man, they fucking... Them people are out there going mean. You know, stabbing people. Yeah. Well, they've been, no, I mean, over there in Europe, they've been having a, a, a immigration crisis. Right. They've been getting flooded in by all kinds of uh, all kind of migrants and stuff, man. Right. You know, which causes the crime rate, you know, to go to skyrocket, man. Right. And you're starting to see that here in, in Babylon with all these immigrants. Okay. Pretty soon they're going to be out here in the streets. Going mainly like the people in fucking France and Europe. That's why you gotta watch what happens over there in Europe because it happens first in Europe and then it comes over here. I don't stay over here. You know? Shit, when World War III goes, goes down, you know, when it starts really getting hot and the motherfuckers start firing at each other, who you think is gonna get it first, man? You know, Europe right there in the, in the midst of the action, bro. So they're gonna be, you know? Getting terrorist attacks and all kind of shit happening to them. Like, look at what just happened over there in Moscow, you know, because they having that war right there with uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. You know, shit gonna start turning up, boy. You yeah. know, something, something vicious. These nations having these little secret wars with each other, they gonna blow up, man. 
you know, start invading one. It said nation, nation south, it basically invade nation, you know. Mm -hmm. Nation south, rise up against nation, you know. Mm. Shit, man, it's gonna, it's, hey, this place is gonna deteriorate to the point where it's gonna be safe for you to leave your house. It's gonna be unsafe to be in your house, man. You well, know? yeah, because yeah, uh, uh, the Parker for second interest talks about women invading homes. Yep. For lack of bread. Neighbors invading one another. Yeah, yeah, you know? neighbors. I said friends shall fight like enemies. Mm -hmm. You know, you might have somebody that, uh, shit, something happened to them, got no way to get food or nothing, man. They're looking, they're looking to bust in these shit now. That, I don't know if you, you guys seen that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, but in there, this uh, this Jake that owned the house, owned property, was talking about some Edomite that lived like a mile away. That was pretty much a property that was stocked up. Yeah. They had a bunker full of medicine, full of food. What's you up, know? guys? How you yeah, doing? How you doing, sir? Good. All right. You know? So they're going to be invading people, man. Jake knows. Oh, look what they're saying about because uh, the eclipse in Texas. They're telling uh, uh, the, the eclipse lucky that's east coast uh, and, and happening in the south where you can see it. Well, Texas was giving out uh, alerts to the people that the, the state says that it, it would be wise for you people to, st to stock up on at least three months of supply. Okay. So they're getting ready out there, telling the people to get ready. Hey, the scriptures say city against city. These states are like cities, are actually cities, city states like Rome. It's Rome. Like Greece. It's Rome. That's what these are. So their people are going to go from California to Texas, from from Texas to Idaho, Idaho, places where you don't even hear people going, like North Dakota. Like what the fuck's in Dakota? Besides some Indians, you know? some Gadites, you know. But people are going to be traveling, man. For what? To go loot. To go uh, uh, migrate, man. Wars. It's going to be wars. Okay? It's about to get real, man. Shit's, shit's going to hit the fan. Because the government's divided against itself, so there's going to be a civil war. They're going to be fighting over here. Man, you got to think about it, too. You have the cut, uh, it's within the country, you have, uh, like the Midwest and everything. But all the blue states, they have all the ports. Where all the shipments come in and everything, man. That's why you look at, uh, you know, Bushwick. Bushwick, when they were trying to take over, you know, Jersey, Jersey and stuff. Well, they need to. They would need to get control of some uh, some sort of, you know what I mean, a way to be able to get shipments in and out. You know? Well, what just happened in Baltimore? They said it was a it was a high trade spot that's gonna fuck up the economy. And who's in Baltimore? Nothing but a lot of you Jakes, man. Yeah. So what happens when Jake can't eat? When Jake can't eat, Jake gonna Jake gonna find a way to eat, man. You know. Look at what happened in Venezuela a couple years ago. Jake in prison was eating each other, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> Jake will be, Jake will find a way to eat, man. They're going to say, you know, there's a lot of you Edomites around here that got money, that got food. They're going to be invading your homes. And it's not just going to be Jake. No. You got Edomites in these other nations that are here too that are going to think the same thing. militia group and they ain't nothing but raiders man they, they about to just do all kind of nasty shit to you take all your shit yeah leave you for dead man yeah. or enslave you for, yeah. <laughs> you know i'll show you that, that one movie uh, uh what do you call it uh, uh and those ones the birch Oh, let me get this. 
is Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. There ain't gonna be no more America, man. That American spirit gonna be out the window. You people ain't gonna be looking at each other like a like fellow citizens. The, the police, the military ain't gonna be looking at you like somebody they need to protect. No, they're gonna be looking at everybody as a, as a terrorist threat. As, as, a, as, a, as a target, as, as an threat. enemy, yeah. a threat. It's like that, uh, hey man, that fuck is that movie, uh, Judge Dredd, the one that came out like 2016 or whatever, you know, uh, it was like mega, it was mega city, you know, and then it was showing on the police scanners, like the, the, uh, the, the cameras and stuff, you know, all these people walking. And it was just identifying everybody as gang members and shit, man. You know, just like crowds of people were all fucking gang members and shit, man. Well, what's gonna be out here, man? You gonna have all kinds of man. It's gonna be gangland, bro. Militias, cops, army, you know, uh, uh, fucking, you know, all these different gangs out here, you know? Yeah, and once you're categorized in, in a, in a Say so your your military, ex-military, they put you in special files. So your ID, all that, puts you in the file, and they can just use these cameras to, to, to see everybody who they are. Oh, oh, this man was a king member, a validated king member. That's on your file. You know, you're a doctor, whatever. All that's in the file. You're a sex offender. That's on the file. So automatically, they could just scan you and see who you are. You know, you got Dragon Ball Z or Brother Mitchell Judge Dredd. They got like special lenses where they can scan you with the lens and, and, and read you. Read who you are, what you are. Going back to Project Megiddo, everybody is in a special list. Military, ex-military. Militia, mil, uh, militia men, veterans, religious groups. Yeah. All that, you're in a special file to where you're a special target. Whether they have you on a hit list, whether they have you on a detain list. Okay? And they're getting, they're getting ready to roll. You know, they say uh, uh, this, this uh, solar eclipse this type of solar eclipse goes back to ancient Egypt with the Lord in ancient Egypt so darkness. And what happened with that, that darkness was plagues, judgments. That I was like, this could this could be it. The Lord could actually start rolling out on this place within the next couple weeks, man. Really start bringing heavy judgments, man. Unleash viruses and and violence. They say a lot of these immigrants that are coming in, a lot of them are fucking uh, Hamas trained soldiers, man. And even some of the immigrants that are coming up from the border that are Jakes are saying, oh, they're being trained by these guys. All it takes is for one, one more uh, terrorist attack for them to just roll out and say, we need to get everybody chipped. We don't know who these people are. What better way to use these immigrants? Okay, what better way to use them for, for uh, something heavy? We're living in serious times, man, where you gotta actually be sincere, be, uh, you know, uh, be solemn, man. You just had the Passover, which was a solemn assembly. Well, we're in the Feast of the Living Bread. We're in the Feast of the Living Bread. So the Passover is not even really over yet yeah. until, you know, uh, I believe Saturday night. What is it? This is uh, back in uh, Isaiah 19 and 3. It says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, 
and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards. You know, and they're gonna go, they're gonna go to their, uh, you know, the Illuminati uh, uh, councils, you know, as the scripture says in, uh, uh, what is that, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, chapter 12, I believe, you know, they're gonna go to look out the windows and see that everything's dark, you know, no light, okay? Nothing they can possibly do to recover. No future, you know. No future. No future. You, you know, know, you're looking out the window, you know, you're trying to see the forecast, and the forecast is dark. You know, very dark, man. Well, there is no future. That's why it says he's going to come down having great land because he know that he had but a short time, man. And, and it's only a short time left, bro. Hey, he knows it's only a short time because he's talking to these demons. Everything he's seeing is, is, is just going going into the direction that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai wants according to prophecy. You know? Right, because everything getting out of control, man. He's talking, don't have a handle on nothing the internet has made it to where information goes out so freely he can't hide himself, man. He can't stop the brothers from waking up. He, he ain't can't do shit. So he, he knows he's, 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 fini he's at the finito. You know? This man's too. Now he's in the code of them wizards and charmers, sorcerers. When he sees that, he, he, there's nowhere for him to turn. <laughs> so what's his next step? <laughs> his next step is to just come down with great violence. Whoever fits on that list, you're right. You know. Nobody goes on the And we pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah that he does come against us. He does uh, 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 start taking fight. Okay? Because when the enemy comes comes in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is in the Okay? That's prophecy. We need prophecy to fulfill. Okay, we want the kingdom. Yeah, the enemy has to come in like a flood in order for the standard to get lifted up, you know? And the Lord, the Lord isn't with this place, man. That's why all these things are happening. The Lord's not with us. It's all evil, man. The Lord, hey, this is the end of his kingdom. It says in the scriptures, the Lord put up bounds that he cannot pass. You know, and he's reached his limits. That's why Israel's waking up. Okay, that's why all this destruction is coming behind Esau's system. All these nations are turning against him. You know, because his time is up, man. And he rules the world in wrath with a continual struggle so that everybody hates it, but all the damn planet itself hates it, though. Uh, he hates himself. Yeah. You know, you got Satan rising up against Satan. You know, you got Germany telling Ukraine, you guys got yourselves in this mess. Fuck you. We're not sending you guys no more missiles. Because they know that a war with Russia ain't gonna be good. And as a matter of fact, they know, the elite know, prophecy, that when Russia really starts going to war, it's over. Okay? The, the, the nukes, the nukes is, is, is the end. Let me saw. Revelation chapter uh, 9. The, 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 those horses, okay, are going to be utilized to slay a third part of men. Which are, which are the Edomites, man. And two-thirds of our people, two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are in the spirit of their father, the devil Esau. Two-thirds of our people worship this damn beast, man. They conduct themselves as beasts. That's why we call two-thirds niggas, man. Okay? Because you're a pro you're 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 a, you're a product of Esau. You're a fucking nigga. You know. 
here it is you want to do drugs and eat abominable foods and just act out of order you're a monkey you're you're a beast you don't know what these are like okay I thought you guys were standing for the Mexican place with the, uh, I thought they were, I didn't recognize you, I didn't recognize the tassel. That's what's up, man, what's your say, bro, I'm living, I'm living Jesus Christ too. God is shaking out there. But you know what, you know what, my favorite thing about God is? God is good. God, well, God created evil, but he's not evil, God is good. Okay. They say light, light and dark. Sorry? It says in the scriptures that God is light and dark. They say it's either be evil done in the city and the Lord have not done it. Mm -hmm. So when you have, you say like little kids get cancer or get no, burned in a fire, fucked up shit happen, right? You know, and you think, man, that can't be God. The Bible yeah, actually so. tells you it is God, bro. Yeah, God yeah. actually does yeah. that. Yeah. So He does evil, bro. You well, know, He yeah. makes evil happen in the earth, and yeah, that's a punishment. It, it, it's a punishment. It, it, it is punishment. It is. There's no such like 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 Christianity tells you that there's hell. Yeah. There's no such thing as hell like a place that your soul goes and burns forever. It tells you in the scripture judgment happens here. You know? When you do something when you do something wrong and your life fucking goes to shit, you lose, you know, maybe you get a DUI or a drug charge or you get shot, you get beat up. All these different things that happen to you. All these different things that happen is judgment from the Lord. That's the Lord. But actually. what happens whenever good shit happens? With you? That actually happens. With you? Well, you gotta know what good, what what is good, and then at the same time, right? If we don't know, right? The Lord, Lord does, uh, you know, does yeah. good things in the earth, miracles and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. But at the same time, in the final judgment, everybody that's not worshiping the how about some y'all besides the true names of the heavenly Father and the Son. And in sincerity according to the ways of the scripture. Everybody that's not Israelite as well is going to be destroyed. So, what order is distinguished like, like any other person that believes God, like by me, for instance, and then, then like, is he right, right Israelite? It depends. It depends. You could. Because the Israel was scattered I mean, among all. Well, all I think I was a Gentile, right? I think I was a Gentile. Well, you have to understand what that means. Well, the first Jew Gentile, right? So I'm not actually the first people. I can't know. Well, the last people, those people are not. Oh, the other ones are not. Yeah. Oh, I believe that. I believe that's how they make it sound. Really, Israelites are so called All the other ones are the Gentiles. False flag, false flag, I'll break And then, the, like, they just put the other military, and then they go do a war boom. That way, it looks like they break them, you know? That's the country. So, like, yeah, bro. I don't really believe they the one, the official one. I know they're lying. I know they're lying. Don't remember. Yeah, well, he be broke too. Yeah, man, it's weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's mad at you. I'm not. I'm not. Bible. Yeah. There is a chosen lineage of people. 
a line, a seed. Right. So and all the, you know, when the, you know when the God talks about the heathen, you know when it says the heathen. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's I know. Every, that's all the other nations that are not of the nation of Israel. Well, isn't, it, isn't it heathen something that's kind of like a lawless kind of a? Oh, a heathen is somebody that's not an Israelite according to the Bible. Well, then what is a Gentile? That's there's two types. Okay. There's two types of Gentiles. You have Gentiles that are natural Gentiles that are not Israelites or of other nations. And you have Gentiles that when you go into the New Testament, because uh, basically Israel had been done away with by God because they had rebelled against them, messing around with all these other nations. But that doesn't mean about these stuff. No, but that's, that's the point of the, the Gentiles is that the Gentiles in the New Testament were Israelites. They got uh, basically made a league with the other nations. So wasn't it like, oh, excuse me, let's talk uh, let's see if from the Greeks. I'm not 100% sure, but from what I understand, which is not, this is not something that I really super, like, study, but what I understand, okay, so like, the Jew and okay, so Jew is like the original people of actually the land of Israel, right? Where it's like the actual land, the state or country, whatever, it ties into history that way. Yeah. Okay, but then, okay, so then the people from there are the original Okay, well, hold on, and then, so, so then, if you're not, if they're like, originally back from I don't know how, so how they will say that this thing like, okay, I'm out from that land, I'm not supposed to go there, we'll be from that land, that we're going to do it. But it's because all this says that, uh, if God leaves the God, uh, God decides that none shall perish, right? God loves us, bro, and it's God, bro. Well, it is, bro. God, God, I don't think God is going to want to put an office. Let me, let me show, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Maybe this will put it in perspective for you. So what is your guys' most important uh, message you're trying to uh, do you think? Like, like, what is the number one thing that you want, to, you want to tell me today as somebody who's not... What are you for the elect? What are you going to wake up the elect? The elect are... The 144,000. So actually only literally 144,000 people. That's all we're looking for. Because once the elect, the 144,000 are sealed. Hold on, bro. Hold on. There's a 2 billion people. Revelation 7, uh, 7, right? It says when the 144,000 are sealed, then shall they end up the destruction. So there's not 144,000 people that are made in heaven yet? No, they're sealed with the knowledge of the Lord. That's what we're looking for. So they're not sealed like, like, you're me, bro. You're sealed. You got your lock, like, you know, like that. It's not that it's fresh. It's it is wisdom. The elect have been chosen from the beginning to be saved in the last day. But God's voice said, that shall perish. Okay, so, so, so my, my thinking of the elect, to me, not that I actually, this is not some kind of, I consider myself an expert on either, but the elect is God's chosen people or those basically, not to like to say, if you accept God, if you believe in Him, and you believe basically, you're not like, uh, you know. The elect are predestined to be saved. So the they, they may not even know God yet, and they're still the elect. Yeah. Okay. They're just okay. waiting we woke up. Yeah. Listen to this. Yeah. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. It says, And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. That's right. Israel, right? Chosen people. Right. Right. Listen. Yeah. It says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto still and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. He don't, I never care, he don't care about it. He don't care about the majority of the world, bro. He's gonna let it burn. He's gonna let nah, all these people God burn. Doesn't, God, God doesn't create you. don't have to believe it, bro. It's gonna happen. I'm just saying like this as far is as God, God that I know, bro. God is love, dude. No, you don't know God. But yeah, yeah, I do, you don't. I promise you. Well, God is not all love. No, he's not all of us. When you read the Bible, the yeah, Israelites went yeah. through slavery, harsh punishments, torment. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Nations yeah. came against them yeah. and enslaved them, okay, put them to death. They went through yeah. famines and pestilence. All these evils came upon them. Why do you think they happened? Okay, so let me ask you a question. They happened because Israel rebelled against the Lord. Okay, they so committed sin. Them, God doesn't ever force himself on nobody, right? So if we're if we're, if we're if we're beating it over the head, well then we're gonna die. Okay. Have to beat it over the head. They no. hard headed. Yeah, I am, bro. But hey, check it out. You all are. But anyways, bro. So you're telling me that God created all of humanity just for the slave Israel? Yeah. Of, of that I got another, from I got another scripture for you. Oh, but see, you're not being a different God right now. 
Oh, no, it's just I am being a good reflection. You guys believe in Jesus, right? Yeah, we should. Okay, right. Well, if I don't want to say his name right, to me, honestly, like, the names are not that, because I know who I'm talking about. I know that God knows who I'm talking about. To him. So really, I don't really have to even say his name at all, because, like, that's, to me, that's that's that real fellowship. Like, it doesn't, to me, it's not like, where's it from? Like, what shoes are you from? Like, it doesn't really matter that much like that. But like, well, we're these people in them. Like, like me, like, I'm white and shit. Like, I'm the fucking uh, racist yeah, group. Like, fuck all that guy. I might as well be racist if I'm in a gang like that. You know what I'm saying? The truth is, though, look, hey, all I know is this. I started all kinds of things. I always, like, how do you guys? Always interesting, always listen. So whenever I, I really believe in Jesus, and like, you know, that, that personal relationship with Jesus, that one, Oh man, you should be blind, bro. I'm trying to be blind. I, I don't even have to ask about things. Like, things I'll think about are fine. Dark. But, hey, them sharks are close. Bro. I can't find the scripture that says oh, the people that were made in vain. Oh. Yeah, because there's a scripture that basically talks about well, so this people is, that were created to be destroyed. Okay, so what is the name of your. The Howard by Most high name is Yahweh. Yeah, no, I know how to say it. I know how to so, the apocrypha. The apocrypha is, is part of the Bible. So it is, but it's not what's called. Uh, it's canon. Canon. It is. Oh, it is. So why it is it in the is, Why do you have two different books? Well, I do have one that's called the 1611 version, which is a much earlier version that has this in it. That's what's up. That's because that's when the when the King James version was made, it was made with the apocrypha in it. It was just some assholes took it out because in this book. It talks about sexually with Greeks only. Okay, so I actually actually like this year. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I, I can actually this out. Yeah, yeah. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 22. Okay. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. That's the elect, the great plant. And he said the multitude of the people who were born in vain. I know that's so that hard to hear. That's a great number of. That means the majority of the earth were born right. in vain. Because, bro, they were think about, think about how hard it is not to sin, right? So you guys believe that if your sin, whenever. That's why you have to die. That's why the Lord died. Yeah. That's the guy that lives. For us just to do whatever we want? No. Right. For us to have right. it, no, for us to have a chance to repent. Right, right. To turn away yeah, from sin, to stop it. Right. Hey, it's sin. Cool. You would start believe in our potential to settle, right? You can agree on that, right? No. You can't agree on that. If he believed in our potential, he wouldn't have had to give his life. The overall potential, bro. Even my okay, so why is what is what is the main focus? The main focus is trying to think about it like where am I actually at? Like where am I actually at? Like what like, is like, 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 bro, is it about like saying, hey, hey, excuse me, sir, you're wrong and I'm gonna tell you the right way. Hey, no, 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 you're wrong about that. So we're doing it. So I'm doing it. Me, only me, only most of the people are so jacked up their kids. My bike right here. But, hey, good, good, like, no, it's only one God. God is not like, hey, God bless you. Like, see how you feel good? Like, like, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like, there's nothing bad, like, that's God, bro. Like, it's not me. That's just the Holy Spirit. Like, you're not, you're not listening. It's not, God is not all about, like, you realize that what we're telling you is from the Bible. Like, how is the Lord telling you? Because we're, we're telling you what God's word is. We're not lying to you. I don't know what you guys are going to have to guys.